Well, welcome to Camp House. Gary Bynes, Spurmaster himself. What an honor it is today. I'm Rick Burgess uh, from the Rick and Bubba Show. And uh, uh, believe it or not, I have never been on a morning turkey hunt in my entire life. Uh, Gary took me one time in the afternoons and Gary said, hey, I ain't really hunting them. I just bushwhacking them. And uh, so, and we didn't see anything that day. And I don't know why we didn't see anything. Well, I do. Uh, you know, you gotta be still. Right. You can't lay on your back with your gun sticking up in the air. And you know, just like I said, I may have to get on to you this morning a little bit because, you know, if you're gonna do it, we gotta do it uh, right. After I went hunting with him one time, and, and I, I've lost a little weight, the time I weighed about 285, 290 pounds, and Gary said, hey, I just like sitting out there with a 285 pound eight year old. So I'm gonna try to do better. I'm usually, I'm kind of just a pure deer hunter. I know that turkey hunting is, is, is it'll, it'll get me. I got all that. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just depending on Gary because he's the legend. as the state record, as we all know. I'm gonna get to go out and do a little turkey hunt. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, you're not gonna wear just wear your socks if you got boots to go? Do I need boots? Well, the first setup didn't pan out for us, so we burned some boot leather looking for another long beard. The strong winds made it tough to hear any gobbles, but we finally found some turkeys out in the pasture. We found a good hiding spot, Gary got busy with his Spurmaster turkey call, and things started looking promising. Stay on.
don't let her in. One of them. Just wait a minute. Just wait. Oh my gosh. Follow up with your gun slow. Look at him go. <laughs> what? They're gonna fight him, huh? Uh-huh. Get that on film. I'm trying. Get that on film. Is he damn good? Or good? No. Oh, good. Yeah. Wow. Just let, just let him go. How about a two bird day? Did you get him? I got him. Yeah, he's down. Look at him go. Son of a bitch. How about a two bird day? Alright, is there nothing here I need to pop out? Or just put safety Just safety on. You believe that? <laughs> Way to Burgess. go, guys. Rick Burgess. <laughs> Doubled up. <laughs> With the birds. I tell you what, that was, uh, that's teamwork right there. It's well, good stuff, isn't it? Ben keeping us updated on where the turkeys were. Gary, the, the spur master, has struck again. We went from we couldn't find a turkey to we had four gobblers on us. Wow. It's, I, I didn't know I'd, when y'all said, when I said, hey, which one you want me to shoot? And y'all said, whichever, pick one. <laughs> well, dude, and Gary was getting over about my point, and I think my point. I'm, hey, we got to talk about that point. Well, it was just a, it was a, you and, can't and ben, ben knew that the turkey couldn't be seen. I just simply went signaling that he went in. <laughs> don't let me, don't get me stirred up. Good stuff. Uh, well, Good it's stuff. a double. Yeah, man, doubled up. What an opening morning! Hey, first day of turkey season. Uh, I'd like to tell y'all where we are, but Gary won't let me. <laughs> no. And you don't come here without me. <laughs> Y'all know this more than I do since the first time, but tell me if we hadn't had the wind. Oh. We, the fact we were able, you able to do all that with this wind? No, I'm telling you. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe what brought them in was that Kiki. Well, I mean, Ben, I don't, I, I, here's what I don't understand. And Ben, I'm, a, I'm not trying to speak for you, but I felt like that Gary was a little reluctant to use his Kiki. Uh, he was. Like he was holding the Kiki well, back. Well, you know. Well. I, he you probably don't want to say too much stuff. about it, but yeah. it's kind of that silver bullet, you know, yeah. it keeps in the back pocket. But I'm gonna tell you. But, but you had to, you had to almost beg him. I did. That, to do the kick. Look at yeah. that turkey guy, right, John. <laughs> look at him change the subject. <laughs> I know. You think you think look, he wanted him run off. I think that one's mine. That one right there is the one that I killed. He's still gobbling out there. that's something. Well, all right, guys, we had a wonderful time this morning. Yeah, man, congrats to both of you. Uh, an awesome, awesome experience. And, uh, just a, you know, every opening day is a treat, and this one right here is uh, super special. And we got to see a heck of a show. It oh, was, it was it unreal! Was, it was incredible. I, I've been hearing about turkey hunting, and I know it's so. People, every time I tell people I don't turkey hunt, they think, "Well, what's wrong with you?" And uh, you know, we were talking about my dad who just passed away in in uh, in December, 
um, and we were discussing, he used to go stripe fishing all the time in spring. He would deer hunt and then he would stripe fish and fish in the spring. And he said, well, once I started turkey hunting, he said, I never caught another stripe. <laughs> yes, but he got obsessed with it. He got to where he could call and do the mouth calls. And of course, you know, he never got to use the spur master call because he was just coming into when he got yeah. Alzheimer's. But uh, uh, yeah, when, when I knew the way my dad was that this got a hold of him, I think I've been trying to stay away from him because I don't want to get a hold of him. Well, you're hooked well, now, right? Up too late. <laughs> when you turkey hunt, you got to have a good job and a good wife. Or you'll lose both of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's the truth. truth. Really. Put it down, man. Put it down. Thank y'all so much for making that. Well, it, it was an incredible day here, uh, you know, well, with uh, Sawbriar Outdoors. Uh, thank you guys for documenting this. My first turkey, Gary, got him on the ground. I saw the Spur Master. I've heard about it. I've had others who he's guided that told me about it. But until you experience the Spur Master live, and in action, you ain't gonna. But we went from, I mean, at one time, I thought turkeys were gonna attack us, and, and we, we basically killed these in self defense. Yeah. Pretty much. How'd you, was I more still this time? You kind of reminded me of uh, when uh, Barney and Goober Powell was watching Andy through the window when he was kissing. We started to kissing, uh, what's her name? You talking about Helen? Helen? Yeah. And you was doing this, you know. What? What? No, no. I, I thought hey, I was supposed to. See when, that hand? When you yeah. deer hunt, you, you, you see hey. a deer, what do you do? You And all I was doing when we saw you that first gobbler is I was, I was trying to let you know where the gobbler was. Well, we set up on, we had three coming in right, early this right, morning. Right. You see it's windy And they today. seen him move. They didn't see me move. It, it, it see, was just a yeah. Yeah, they see that stuff like that. And I don't, you know, I hated to get on to you, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Well, it was. Uh, I felt but, like you know, I'm proud of you. Well, thank really you. Proud of you. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, I, this was. You know, you warned me about this. Yeah. And uh, I realize now that uh, you know the show that I'm doing right now and what I'm gonna be doing in the future. I guess you know afternoon shows are pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope you don't get hooked on this stuff. I know, that's what I'm thinking. I might move show the afternoon. Was, so that, was, that, was that heart thumping? My heart was thumping. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard, you know, these, these that, that uh, don't a gobbler, don't they, they drum sometimes yeah. too, a little drum? Well, I, don't, I couldn't hear it because my heart was drumming. I mean, y'all, I went from there's a gobbler coming to there's five of them, and y'all were saying shoot, and I was like, which one? <laughs> that's what happens when that kiki starts on the spur master. Well, Dog on it. I didn't want to use the kiki, but you know. Hey, I mean, when the kiki starts, I mean, hey, they gonna outlaw us call one day. I'm telling you, they've already started to outlaw it in Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gary. I tell you what, that wind was tough. Yeah, it was. It was tough. Well, you, you know, we talked about that. Y'all told me that the the wind works for you. Ben was talking about that because and it works. You can move you. a little bit more, but you don't make so much noise. But the, then they get a little confused about where the call is. But we made it happen. And you know what? I hate to bring this up. I do. I'm sorry, bro. I really do. Gary gave up. If it had not been for Ben and Sawbriar Outdoors, yeah, well, I, I mean, Ben kept us going. Every time we were ready to go eat a late breakfast, Ben would would, would get his binoculars out and he said, "They're still out there. You got to keep calling." Well, it's gonna be a what them rich good folks call it now. It's not gonna be breakfast. It's gonna be a brunch. Yeah, I don't, we don't even know what a brunch is where we're from. Yeah. Uh, so right, Gary, thank you, go. thank you so much, I Gary Vine, Spurmaster, Sawbriar Outdoors. Thank y'all for setting up a great turkey hunt today, and my first ever gobbler. And uh, you know what? You don't ever forget the first time you take you mm -hmm. take a deer, first time you take a gobbler, first time you catch a big bass. You gonna mount that one? Ain't you? I'm gonna mount that, and we're gonna set it up at Camp House. This will be one for me. My wife's been putting a lot of things in there that I'm not sure are Camp House worthy. Y'all heard me heard me talking about this on the show, uh, but right now I'm gonna put a big old gobbler right by the fireplace. Good job. Good stuff. Congratulations.